So let's cut to the chase and lay it all out. The devil, as we all know, is in the details. Male pattern baldness, driven by genetic predisposition, is indeed a devilish opponent. It not only affects the native thinning hair on the top of the head, but also may affect the hair buds or the hair grafts taken from the so-called permanent zone of the back of the head and the sides. And this impact varies from person to person depending on what age you are at and how much of the baldness gene has expressed itself. Finasteride taken before the hair transplant helps in stabilizing your hair loss so that a more deliberate decision can be taken about hair transplant. Hair that can grow back are given a chance before killing them with a hair transplant procedure. Finasteride used after a hair transplant on the other hand protects the tender grafts while they are growing, prevents them from the ill effects of DHT and once they've grown maintains a fuller look, a look of head full of hair for a longer period of time than without finasteride.